<gasps> Looks like you're not connected to the internet. Don't worry, I'm here to help. Help you know different network interfaces. <laughs> Wired interfaces communicate with generally the same method. A tripping hazard. When you think of Ethernet, the connector you're thinking of is most likely going to be RJ45. It's the most common for network cables. Cables such as Category 5, Category 5 Enhance, and Category 6 use RJ45, which is twisted pair copper wires. Look at the rear I.O. on your motherboard. You probably have one. Most consumer motherboards have 1 gigabit built in. Higher end boards may have 2.5 gigabit or even 10 gigabit. RJ11 is used for communication over telephone cables. It was also used for dial-up internet. RJ11 ports were very slow and only support speeds up to 24 megabits per second. Wireless interfaces allow you to communicate and connect to a network without using wires. How does it do that? Antennas emit radiation. Primarily, the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz frequency bands. The standards for Wi-Fi we use are based on the 802.11 standard, which there have been multiple improvements over the years since the original adoption. The original 802.11 standard was adopted in 1997 and had only a max speed of 2 megabits per second and uses the 2.4 gigahertz frequency band. 802.11a and 802.11b standards were adopted in 1999. 802.11a used 5 GHz with a max possible speed of 54 megabits per second. 802.11b used 2.4 GHz with a max possible speed of 11 megabits per second. 802.11g was adopted in 2003, used 2.4 GHz, and has a max possible speed of 54 megabits per second. 802.11n was adopted in 2008. It uses both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz with a max possible speed of 600 megabits per second, achievable if using 5 GHz. 802.11ac was adopted in 2014, it uses 5 GHz with a max possible speed of 6.93 gigabits per second. 802.11ax was adopted in 2019 with a slight extension in 2020, it uses 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz, and even 6 GHz if you have the 2020 Wi-Fi 6E extension. Maximum possible speed is about 9.6 gigabits per second. But you might be wondering, or asking, what if you don't have any wireless networking built in? Or even stranger, no wired networking built in? Don't worry, you got options. Let's start with the most common problem. Your computer doesn't have wireless networking built in. While some desktop motherboards have this built in, most you'll come across probably won't. You got three options. Number one, USB. USB is the easiest. You just need a USB port. Then get yourself a Wi-Fi USB adapter and simply plug it in. If drivers are needed, install them. Good luck with that. Because of USB power limitations, not many features can be implemented into these devices, thus these devices are mostly for convenience, but for most users, they will suit your needs just fine. Number 2. PCIe PCIe is probably the best one if you can use it. First, check to make sure you have a PCIe slot available. You can use any PCIe slot, even X16 will work. Don't do that. If you installed a graphics card before, the process for installation is pretty much the same. Just make sure to turn off and unplug your computer before attempting. With PCIe providing more power, more features could be implemented such as multiple antennas, more bands, and even include Bluetooth along with Wi-Fi. Number 3. M.2 Sort of. M.2 with E and sometimes with A keys is only being mentioned because it's used for wireless cards. You're really only going to find this slot with the correct key on laptops, but they do exist on desktops. No, you can't use this for NVMe storage. Not only it's the wrong key, it's not expecting storage. Now for the next problem. You need more than one Ethernet port. 
Your existing one is dead. You need a faster port. Your motherboard is an abomination to humanity and lacks one entirely. Or you want to make this dream a reality, which you can't replace your whole I.O. like that, but you can still get more ports. Your options are the same as before, except for M.2. You can use USB and PCIe cards. Again, you can use a USB adapter. Sometimes you have to. Or, if you have a laptop without a port and you want to use wired networking, you can easily find 1 gigabit and 2.5 gigabit adapters. USB adapters are usually only single port, but that's good for most people, and 1 gigabit will suit the needs of most users. PCIe is again your best option. These cards can easily implement faster speeds and extra ports. Most are single port as well, but you can find ones with more than one. Check to make sure that you have PCIe slots available to use. Just make sure again to turn off your computer and unplug it. Assuming you're going to use RJ45, check to make sure that the card you're getting is not an SFP card. SFP is different. I hope this has helped you know more. I don't know. It's a school project. Kind of surprising you're still here, to be honest. Well, unless you're the class that's watching it, in which case that's intended. But if you're someone else that's just came across this video, thank you. You know, I know I haven't been really active as much as I have been in the past years. You know, I have a terrible problem where I don't finish the things I work on.